This is the 15th Zurich Film Festival, and we're here with Jonas Alexander uh, Arnby and Nikolai Kosevaldau, director and actor of Suicide Tourist. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Um, my first question would be, um, I don't know if you wanted to deliver a message with this film or to raise a debate. If you had to choose uh, between two topics, it would be euthanasia, mm -hmm. or it would be being aware of own death and life limits. What would you say? I mean, I think that um, it's, it's, I know that uh, this question with assisted suicide, as you're referring to, or uh, dignitas, uh, is something that we are, we have discussed this, you know, a lot if uh, during this uh, process, but it's never been a film about, you know, that, that's never been the topic of the film. I mean, for me, it's always been a, a movie about a, a, a man, uh, you know, about life, you know, it's existentialistic drama, you know, it's a mystery, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a drama, you know, suspense drama. So I, we use that as a tool to tell the story because this is a story about a man who is, uh, you know, trying to control everything in his life, but mm -hmm. he's not capable of, you know, the conditions that he's, he's under um, during this film. So this is not a real place. It's an imaginary place. And what everything here is, it's not science fiction or anything like that, but it has a near future tone to it, which means that it's, we, we have the reality, you know, we walk, but we watch it through a different lens. So that was the whole purpose. So this, this suicide hotel is, of course, something that never exists in real life. I mean, the whole thing about checking in and not checking out, you know, if you see the film, yeah. is, is, um, is, of course, a fiction. Would you say that, about um, talking about these topics, would you say this is a risky role for you? No, I don't, I don't think any character could be risky. I mean, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I mean, what, what should be the, the risk? I mean, it's just a... I thought it was a great role, and I thought it was an interesting, and I think that, that uh, the whole thing about, um, you know, I could relate to the character when I, when I read him. I, I, you, know, I've, you know, I've lived more than half my life, and I, you know, been through moments in your life when you are overwhelmed by life, by the complexity of, 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 of this, uh, the fact that you cannot control anything, and that whenever you think that life is, is the way it should be, something happens that flips it upside down. And of course, for this character, it's a very extreme thing. He gets a, a tumor in his head that, that, that potentially will alter his, 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 the person he is. Uh, and he, it, it scares him so much. But ultimately, he wants life. He wants love. But he chooses the most extreme way of controlling it is by ending it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was an interesting topic uh, and a great character. And then the way it's told and the way it, 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 it place with the constant everything is is through his point of view there is no everything is just seen through him so you never know is this real or is it imagine is it an imagination mm -hmm. because you you never allowed to come outside uh, i thought that was really interesting um so uh, no i never think of it as a, of, a, of a part as, as being a dangerous or something, no. Mm -hmm. In the film, I think you deconstruct or you rebuild um, Nikolai's image, the image we know that the public eye knows about you. How did you work to transform you into a man that we are not used to, to see? Well, I mean, I think it, sorry, I think that, uh, you know, the whole <laughs> thing about, it also, it depends on who you ask and who you are and, and what you've seen. Obviously, most people have seen me from Game of Thrones, but I mean, I have, been working, I've done maybe eight, ten, ten films in those years. Uh, but yes, you're right, Game of Thrones is such a huge thing. Uh, but any part you see that I do that's not Game of Thrones is going to be something different. And I think we're all used to that. I see actors that I love and I've seen, I've seen them in something else and it takes ten seconds. I'm sure it's the same for you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're not watching a Christian Bale movie going, but The Machinist, it's the guy from The Machinist. I mean, you, 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 you flick, flip, flip out of it instantly because you know that you're watching a movie you just yeah. want to be entertained and let and you want to be you know to immerse yourself in whatever reality that gives you but do you want it in the past i mean i i, I know you know you love the series but do you want to talk about other things now in your career well i, I want to talk right now i want to talk about this movie um i don't mind talking about game of thrones I, it was a great time in my life and it was fantastic so i'm not i'm not saying i'm not trying to oh no i don't mm -hmm. want to be that 
that the reason it gives me so many great things, it allowed me to do this movie, is probably also one of the reasons we're talking to, to you. So it's, it's all good. Okay. Thanks so much. My time is up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.